Well, I haven't had a catch up for a, a couple of weeks, so it's nice to be back having the chat to you. And I want to first of all start with the, the signing of, of Jack Powell. It, your thoughts on that? Because I think he was right up there as one of your main targets. Yeah, it was someone we identified really early. Um, as soon as we knew he'd be available, we were interested. Um, he was the first player we spoke to. Um, he's obviously made a big, com big commitment to the football club, bringing his whole family. He's got three kids, just got married in the summer. Uh, so he's made a, a real big commitment. Um, and we're delighted to have him here. Um, he's, a, he's a crew player, if you like. Likes to get on the football, creates, got an eye for goal. Um, and that'll be the aim, getting get him as close to the opposition's goal as possible. Um, to make him create and score, but you know, we're delighted. He's a fantastic character, real good professional. Um, I think we've done really well with that one. A, a good feeling for everybody, isn't it? Especially yourself, when you identified him early on to get him here. And as, and as you mentioned, the commitment is top drawer, isn't it? Yeah, outstanding commitment um, coming from Essex. You know, it's a long way up. His brother plays down the road, so he'll have family, he'll have family close. Um, but yeah, you know, the first person we spoke to, he had interest um, from other clubs in this league, um, but he's chose to come to us. And, you know, we're extremely delighted. It strengthens us in that area and it gives us competition for places. What is he? What, what type of midfield player is he? Is he all round or has he got some special ways that he plays? He can do a bit of everything. Um, he's honest without the football, which we need at the football club. You know, I'm big on that, what we're doing without possession. But in possession, he, he wants to get the ball off the back players. He, he can spot a pass. Like I say, he, he's assist um, throughout his time at Crawley have been, have been decent. Yeah, an eye for goal, I think four or five goals last season. Um, good with set plays. Um, so, you know, that's a, a, another string to his bow um, with good deliveries into the box. I hope I've not cursed him now. Um, but he, he took, ticks a lot of boxes for, for us and as soon as you, you meet him and you speak to him, you know, you warm to him. Um, he's got ambition and that was, what, that was his main thing. He, he wants to be ambitious still, it is, it, you know, at 29. Um, been fairly successful in terms of his own career at Crawley um, and he wants to progress again. Um, so in terms of just what in, in, in value and everything he's adding to the group, you know, you know, we couldn't ask for much more. The transfer window is still wide open, of course, you know, it goes on into even when the season, season kicks off. How satisfied are you with how it's been going for you? Um, I'm really satisfied. Um, I think the boys, Josh and Joe, have worked extremely hard in identifying the players and the areas we were after. There's obviously a lot of to and fro in between them and me and the, and the staff. Um, well, I think I think we're in a really good position. Um, I think they've worked really hard to get these players in. Um, and, the, and the pleasing part is getting the players actually to come has it, been has been easy. Um, you know they want they want to come to the football club. You know Ryan had interest as well um, after playing in League One, promotion under his belt. And the, the best indication for me is the players wanted to come. Um, obviously the, the facilities help, and and what we want to try and do, and how we want to get there. Um, we feel these players are going to be a real big part of that. Still want to be active in in, in the market. Yeah, we do. Um, obviously, we've got some business to do to do in house as well. Um, but yeah, we're active. We've literally just been speaking about that. Then um, I'll look at some players again this afternoon. Um, the loan market's going to be important to us, but I would love to get another permanent or two uh, through the door. Can't promise that, um, but we're definitely active still. Yeah. You won't be frightened of going in the loan market because you had good success with with what you did at the end of last season or, or when that window opened you know, halfway <coughs> through the season. Yeah, and, and we've got really good contacts from that because I think the loans have, um, have been really successful for the players. Um, that's not, not necessarily meaning they've, they've come and, you know, and they've torn it up, but you know, in, in different ways they're successful, so we've got good contacts. Um, so yeah, we'll be utilising that. Um, hopefully the, the, the clubs see that their players are getting game time and developing. Um, and the senders, the notch up in terms of players, in terms of coming to the club. Some players that have been here haven't given up on hope. I'm still in contact with them. Um, you know, so hopefully, you know, with the loans, that, that tends to happen later. A lot of the players are training with the first team. First team players go abroad, so there's a small group that's sometimes left over with Premier League teams. Um, so they, they make their decisions in the next couple of weeks, but they're out there training already. It's not as if they're not training. So when they do come to us, um, when we identify them and, 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 and try and make a move on them, they'll be in a, in a good position to, to get going. A lot of players who are out of contract and got no club take it on their own backs to probably get in touch with clubs and 
try and get trials. Is, is that something that you know you, you look at trial is coming in? Yeah, we we do. Um, I've had a lot of that. Um, obviously, people I know in the game representing players and managers who have let players go. What I'm conscious of is just bringing in players just for the sake of it. Um, if a player's coming in, it's somebody that we're interested in. Um, I, I don't see much value in just keep bringing players in um, when we're not going to go for them or. You know, it just makes the the group bigger and dilutes what we're trying to do. Um, so I'm really conscious in how many trialists we have in. If it's somebody that comes in, um, it's somebody we've identified and, and perhaps we'll make a move on. Coming towards the end of the first full week of pre-season training, how, how are they going? How are the lads reacting? Uh, they've been really good. Um, I'm really pleased with the, the way they came back, the condition they came back in. Um, we give them that trust in the off season, something the football club hasn't done before. Um, so we give them that trust. They come back in, in really good scores in terms of their running and, and exercises that they have to execute. Um, but really pleased. They've been really receptive. It's been hard. Um, you know, speaking uh, to Tracy, you know, it'd be hard. It'll be, he's like, no, this is tough. But they've been really re receptive. They've been out there. They're not pulling out. Um, obviously, we'll look after the players in terms of what we feels best for them in the afternoon sessions. Uh, no, but the, the, they've got the. It looks as if they've got the bit between their teeth, and, and you know, taking in everything we're trying to do. Do you have any sort of different days planned for them before you kick off? You know, that times around Delamere, haven't they? Carry sandbags or anything like that? Anything you've got up your sleeve? Yeah, well, um, we can get a lot of work done here. Um, in terms of doing, going running up hills, I'm not sure I'll be taking them do all that type of stuff. I'm more keen on getting them together. They went out for something to eat yesterday. Um, which I feel is a real benefit, particularly when you've got new players in the building. Um, so I'm big on that type of stuff, maybe trying to get, which I'm working on, trying to get some a couple of training days away from Reeseith uh, to somewhere new, which I'm working on. Um, but things like that, just to get them together, different environments, um, not necessarily running with sandbags on the back now. The first of the fixtures starts at uh, the weekend. What, what are you looking at to get out of that one at Hales Owen? Um, a number of things, just the little bits that we've been working on, you, you want to see without going into great detail with the players for that game. Um, obviously you want to come out of the game with no injuries, um, but we want to go there and work hard. Um, it's pre-season, um, we want a high energetic performance and that's what we expect of the players. Um, like I say, there'll be one or two things mentioned in terms of what we're after, but we're not going there straight away. If this is how we're going to play, this is what we're going to do. Um, there's loads of different aspects with it. The sports science comes into it. Players will probably only play half a game, a couple of probably a, a few more minutes. Um, but there'll be aspects physically that we'll be looking at more probably than the, the technical and tactical. In your own department, it was a big blow to lose Alex. You couldn't turn that down to go to Stoke. You've also just lost another one in John Dillon. And that, again, is a, is a big loss, and we spoke about that. But for you, as you are now, I suppose it gives you the time to reshape your own managerial team. Does it exactly what you want? I think that's, a, that's the key word, time. Um, I want to be here for a long time. Um, and I think what decisions I make um, in terms of the backroom staff is important. Um, if you'd have asked me when I was on holiday, when I got the news, I was ready to do it that day. Let's get someone in. and I've had time to just reflect and spoke to a lot of knowledgeable people um, in the game. And, and there's so many boxes that have to be ticked to get this right. So I'm going to take my time. I've not put a time scale on it. I'll be speaking to people um, to get a feel for them and what they're about. Um, I, I know sort of what direction you can go and there's two different ways for me that you can go, you can go down. Um, I'm really comfortable with what we've got in the backroom staff are really comfortable. They're working really hard and um, they're putting on really good sessions. Um, they're challenging me, which, which I really like. Um, but I'm going to take my time with it. Um, it's easy to rush these decisions. I want it to be right for everybody, right for everybody that's in the building. Um, but it's got to be right for me um, because I, I'll be working with this person for a long time, I hope. Um, so I'm going to take my time. Um, I am speaking to people, but it's not like an immediate thing that I feel I have to do today because I'm really comfortable with the situation as it is at the minute. Um, so, again, I'm going to talk to people, take the time, take information off people in the game, which I already have. Um, they feel I'm doing the right thing in terms of not rushing anything, um, speaking to a variety of people in terms of age, experience, um, what their skill set might be. Um, and like when something happens, we'll let people know.